They get all the work done because there's no snow. Oh, wait. No, I'm just joking. We're not going to get any more snow. <laughs> I hope not, just so we can get that thing worked out the way they need some to do it. Some of you will get some snow, just we better not see it down in the core. Yeah, again. and you know, it, it gets tricky when we get systems like this, just like we had the first time around. We were thinking that the snowstorm was going to come in, and then it really over-amplified. Yeah. It does not look like that's going to happen, but you know Mother Nature. She's always got the upper hand. So here's the plan, and I'm going to break down what we're thinking is going to move in tomorrow and on Wednesday. Right now, these showers pushing in today have been light, they've been spotty, or I should say scattered, um, and it looks like a good chunk of them are down south of the Seattle area, but we still have some coming in. Grays Harbor County has a few showers. We did have some showers near Forks and near Bay today. Uh, La Push as well, not as much, but we have a few more isolated showers coming in off the strait and then moving into places like Camino Island, Whidbey Island towards Oak Harbor. Really, that's about it. No snowfall yet. Tonight, we've got the winter storm watch in effect. This sticks with us all the way through midday Wednesday. Technically, this will go into effect uh, midday tomorrow. Notice one to two feet possible up in the mountains. That's a lot. And then, of course, east of the Cascades, we got that winter weather advisory. Of course, that's going into effect the afternoon hours tomorrow into Wednesday afternoon as well. Six to 12 inches along the crest, three to six inches along the east slopes. So we know the mountain areas are going to get the bulk of it. Here in the lowlands, it does look like we could flirt with a little bit of snow action. Notice how the snow level over the next several days stays below the 1,000 foot level. The Precip time is going to be Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday morning into Wednesday midday, and then we've got a new storm coming in Saturday and Sunday, but we're going to focus on tomorrow. Here's where we're going to get things going. This is tomorrow as we go into your midday time frame. Notice a lot of it's coming down in the way of green. All right, so that's going to be showers to start off this storm system as it pushes in. Everything above a thousand feet will fall as snow, so the mountains will be getting snow first thing. We go into Tuesday evening. We're still looking at liquid precip from Bellingham all the way down to Chehalis. The th question comes in the evening hours, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We begin to see temperatures cool a little bit, and if that happens, a lot of the moisture coming in is cutting off, but we have some leftover showers. So if we get that leftover precip to hang around, we can maybe start to see a little bit of winter precip sprinkle the area. Then we got to watch out for the convergence zone because you know the convergence zone gets fired up east of Seattle, and if that happens, it might produce a little bit more. But right now, it doesn't look like we're going to see a ton, uh, but it does look like some of us may get a few flakes, of course, and we could see maybe an inch accumulate on some of those grassy surfaces. We talked about the super moon earlier today. Uh, I did get a chance to see some of that. That will continue into tonight. We've got mostly cloudy skies, though, so if you see it, uh, it will be limited. Tomorrow, we've got showers, of course, beginning to pick up specifically in the afternoon hours. Uh, best chance to see a little bit of that winter precip is going to be early in the morning and then late at night. Temperatures topping out upper 30s to low 40s. Wednesday, same story. More sunshine Thursday and part of Friday.